The other week, I had a conversation with my former tech lead from Google. Here's a short clip from it that I thought was interesting. Uh, how many leak code problems have you solved? If I go to my profile right now, it's probably around 400. So I guess that goes into the next question. When you were doing your interviews, coding interviews, how were you preparing? Yeah, so when I was interviewing, it was a little bit different. I actually got an internship at Microsoft. That was my first job. And there was no lead code back then. So back then, you would be reading, cracking the coding interview. Uh, you would be going through some questions that you've heard other people going through. Um, and you would, you would just practice together. Then the actual interview was pretty similar to what happens today in big tech but after the internship there was no other interview um, for a full-time conversion at microsoft at google there was but i went through the industry route which which just meant like a little bit of a more difficult interview um, with the system design as well so to give a little context leak code was actually created in 2015 so it makes sense that people weren't really asking questions from it back then whereas cracking the coding interview is a book that was written in 2008 so that was kind of all you had like people read books but not only that if you actually go through cracking the coding interview today you'll quickly realize that it's just not enough to prepare for the modern coding interview because the interview is just so much more difficult nowadays Conrad mentioned that in 2009, at Google, he had more of a traditional leak code interview. But in case you didn't know, Google is actually the reason that we have the modern coding interview. They were the first ones to start asking these data structures and algorithms problems. And people don't realize it, but a lot of questions from leak code are actually just taken from the Google question bank. How do I know that? Well, in 2009, I also interviewed for Google and I got a variation of jump game, a dynamic programming or greedy problem. After my interview, I went on leak code to check if the problem was already on there, but it actually wasn't. Now, a few years ago, I was doing a leak code contest and all of a sudden, I saw this problem that I had already solved before. It was the variation of jump game from my Google interview. Three years after I was asked the question, it was then posted to leak code. But I will say now that the question has been public for a while, you're probably not going to be asked it because Google does not ask any questions that are publicly leaked. But back to the original question, it's starting to seem that since engineers are very specifically preparing for these algorithm style interviews, that the bar is getting higher and higher because the entire concept is supply and demand. Companies only need a certain amount of people. If everybody can solve leak code easies, companies are going to ask medium questions. If everybody can solve mediums, they're going to start asking hard questions. And that's when things start to go wrong because most people can't solve hard problems unless you've already seen that problem before. And that's not a good signal. Are you just trying to hire people that have already seen your specific problem before? I think that's when things really start to break down. And it's really getting to a point with the current economy that it's kind of been exaggerated. Now, I haven't interviewed in a while, but I think it's fair to say that the bar today definitely is higher than it was several years ago. And that's very unfortunate because as much as I like algorithms and data structures, it is not the bottom line of what makes a good engineer. I want to end by saying that you're still more likely to be asked a medium question than a hard question. Yes, even at Google. But if you're an interviewer watching this video and you ask leak code hards, come on, don't be a dick.